hi guys welcome back to another video i know last week i didn't appear at all so this week i have got two videos i will be bringing out separately so first i'm going to show you how i paint just a simple patch of grass separately from any landscape scenery or anything which we're going to do now and the next one will be about doing it in the scenery so first off i'm going to choose four different colors and as you could see there i was choosing the darkest more in a bluish tone and moving my way up through the colors through the color choices to the warmest being the lightest color and um, yeah i'm going to go ahead i chose the hard round brush for the base and now i'm using the old brush in procreate which i've slightly modified but not by too much so i don't think it would make too much of a difference to use the original one and i'm using that texture to create a base of something that looks similar to a lot of bits and pieces of grass then after that i'm choosing this one which is also a slightly modified studio pen which the only thing I modified here is I have chosen to not have any taper effects and I also inserted a grain pattern structure for it so that it wouldn't be completely dense. And I'm just going to go ahead and with the second, not the, the darkest color, but the second darkest color, I am going to pencil in a few more of those different lines that look like grasses. With the darkest and the second darkest color, you are kind of already forming your base of grass bundles, if that is what you choose to do, and you can position your shadows and where you want to have your lighter colors. With the old brush, I'm going to go ahead with the third darkest color, or the second lightest, I'm not sure, you, you saw what I did. And um, I'm going to go ahead with that old brush and just put in some more bigger shapes, more undefined shapes, which will kind of... Um, create the illusion that it just has many different layers to it and i'm not putting that everywhere well nearly but not everywhere and that is because i'm trying to create different shapes that come out of that grass bundle i will also create a bit more dimensionality to the grass bundle by adding a few more shapes in the front so it doesn't look like it's just um out of nowhere and then with the lightest color and choosing old brush again i'm just going to go ahead with the lighter so i know where all the color uh, where the light falls exactly and then after that i will be refining it now choosing the modified studio pen with the grain texture i will be putting in some more of the various colors to enhance the shape of the bundles that i've already set by adding more dark lines at the bottom of the grass where the sunlight doesn't quite fall onto and then the not the darkest but the second darkest color as well to lead up to it and then where i want specific grasses to come forward i will add the lightest color onto that grass itself so you're not just um doing rough bits but you are actually trying to create little grasses that come out and that's just how i do it that's how the highly detailed grass versions come out and i try to make them as um, fluffy as possible and i hope that i achieve this in this um, demo but you'll see in the end result it does look quite a bit different to this still so we still have a little bit to go as you can see the shapes are really starting to come out now as i'm putting in the different lines and yeah it's all about trying to find out where your shadow and your light is and where the light falls obviously is going to be the lightest and obviously with my little grass bundle here the light isn't quite defined i mean it kind of comes from the front and sits on it the whole thing but uh, that's why we have the dark shade in the background and in the bottom but it doesn't need to make sense right now it's just about understanding how these colors overlap and how they work together and i hope that by doing this tutorial it kind of gets a bit more understandable or easier okay so i usually don't add any other plants when i paint i usually just have grass on the floor but i'm starting to try and add in a few different kind of flora so just for this little demo i'm going to add a few little like plant buds and they are just the shape of like two little specks next to each other two little leaves coming out of the ground but um, I thought that was quite cute in this instance and it might just kind of I think practicing it like this little bundles of things and then adding different variations 
does kind of help to put them into the bigger paintings, so I'm going to try and do that as well. To add the little buds and the extra plants in the front now that I'm painting right now, or sketching or drawing, I'm using the studio pen, the actual original one, because I like that it doesn't have a grainy texture, it's just a thick line and it's the most visible in front of white, for example. added a few more lines in the front and little grasses that come out in the front but I didn't like the overall shape so I'm going to go in with an eraser in a minute and take out various bits and pieces from the sides and the front to make it look a little bit more coherent. To erase I'm using the old brush again and then eventually I will be using First the studio pen with the grain, but then I realized that didn't quite work. I wanted to have clean cuts, so I used the regular studio pen. Now to finalize it and make sure that the grasses do come out a lot more, I chose a much lighter color and I'm just going in with the studio pen now and just uh, defining some of those some of those grasses. This is where you can actually see where the light falls onto the various little bits and pieces. So you can decide in this section where you want to accentuate your painting and your light and shadow. Again, I wanted to take a little bit of that shape away and uh, give it a bit of a more defined shape because you have a lot of grass sticking out of the top and sure that is just up to you if you want to do that and I chose the again the grained studio pen first which definitely wasn't that great and then switched to the normal studio pen. This is where it was really helpful that I had made two different layers. I duplicated the layer with the grass originally before I started erasing and I realized that I was erasing and making it into an even more weird shape and I left it in because you know mistakes happen so we need to kind of back them up and luckily I still had the other version so I added them together and that worked for me. And here is some close-ups of the final product. If you have done this tutorial let me know what you thought thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video with the landscape scenery grass painting